Hi there, welcome to Leatherworks. My name is Andrew and I am the owner of Leatherworks. Today we're going to be doing saddle stitching. So today we're going to be doing saddle stitching and we're going to be using a pony, which is uh, this wooden contraption that's got a, a lever to open up. The pony allows us to stitch faster and obviously more accurately as well. And what we're going to be doing now is saddle stitching and I'm going to teach you how to stitch like a sewing machine. So the first thing to kind of consider is what does saddle stitching do? So saddle stitching allows you to bond or join leather in a couple ways. You can join it in that fashion. I can do it that way as well. So you can kind of stitch it together that way. Um, you know, and you can kind of do it backwards if you need to. So if you're going to create something that opens that way. We're going to do a standard saddle stitch. So we're going to kind of do it that, kind of that way. And we're going to stitch it so that it all stays together. Um, something else to note that if you buy a kit from us, uh, we pre-cut all the holes for you and the holes are quite accurate and I'm sure you can see through those holes. And I always say, if the holes don't line up, it's not me, it's you. So there's something that you've done, so you just check the step-by-step -step guide and you get it right. So we've now got the holes. I always say that a great way to start is to take two needles and put them into the end of each of the holes so you get it nicely lined up. So you get it nicely lined up like that. You can then open up the pony and you can pop it in and you can pretty much drop it until the needles are, are flat on the, on the top of the wood. You can then spin and close the pony. Don't over tighten it, it's got a plastic clip and it will break. Okay, so you can then take your needles out and ready to go. The next thing is to choose your thread. We're going to use a beige thread and you can see there's lots of different options. Um, and how do you know how long the thread needs to be? So the rule of thumb that we use is four times the length of the area that you're going to be stitching. So we're going from one side to the other side and we're not coming back. So it's literally going to be four times that length. So I can measure one, two, three, four. And because it's smaller, I add a little bit extra because of the length of the needles. And I clip it off. But you can imagine that if you were doing something and you were stitching a whole lot of rows around, you've obviously got to measure around. So you've got to go around, down, along, and that's one and do four of those. Otherwise, you end up and you run out of, run out of thread. Okay, so we've now got our thread. We're going to do saddle stitching, which requires you to work with two needles simultaneously. So we're going to obviously feed the thread into one, and we're going to feed the other side of the thread into the other needle. That's as simple as that. These are number three needles, they've got very big eyes. Uh, the thread we use here is a waxed thread. And why is it waxed? Because the wax actually bites into the leather and kind of holds it in place. You've got to get the tails so they're roughly the same length. You can see that same length. And we're actually ready to go. Um, so we can start. And we're going to stitch away from ourselves. But it doesn't matter if I'm going this way or that way. The key thing about saddle stitching is to develop a pattern like a sewing machine. So you want to have something that's consistent. So I'm going to go in the bottom and I'm going to pull it up and I'm going to get my thread length the same just so that it's nice and neat. And now I'm ready to go. And now I'm going to move the next hole forward. So I'm going to go in with the one. And I'm going to pull it up. And I'm going to take the other needle and go through the same hole but underneath the thread. Okay. And I'm now going to pull it and I'm going to just check that my lengths of thread are the same. Because if they're not the same and you're doing a long piece, you're then going to run out of thread on one side. Okay. And now we're ready to go. So now what you have to do is maintain the same pattern. So if you're left handed or right handed, it doesn't matter. I'm going to just go through the same way I did, so I'm going to go left, hold it up, push it through, pull it tight. And I'm going to left through the hole again, up, push it through, pull it tight. And if you can maintain the same pattern the whole way, your thread all lies the same way. It's not going to what we call walk, so you're not going to have these odd ones sticking out. If I was right handed, I could do it the other way. I could do through the hole, up, and pull it tight and I could do them like that. So it doesn't really matter. The key thing though is to be consistent. So once you've done um, you know, five or six projects, you'll find that you actually develop this pattern that actually becomes kind of second nature. Uh, you can go a little bit quicker about it as well. You should be able to, inside of a pony, do, once you're flying, around about 20 stitches per minute. If I was doing this on my lap, I'd be lucky to get five stitches per minute. So you can see the pony does kind of make things a lot quicker. How much do you tension the leather? Uh, it depends on how thick the leather is. It also depends on kind of the thread using. I generally kind of pull it nice and tight so that the leather actually pulls 
so this thread sorry pulls into the leather and creates a little groove okay and you work all the way to the end if I was doing something that was very long I would keep going and I would keep just moving it back in the pony towards myself so that I can continue working inside the pony if I had to go around a corner or kind of go around the, the end I would then obviously just reposition the pony and just keep going until I get to the end um, so what do you do when you get to the end? Obviously you finish off with the last hole and now the trick. So the trick is very simple. You come back two thread, so two holes. Okay, so I'm there. I'll come back this one and you can do that one. It is quite tight. The holes that we make are usually around about 1.5 mils um, and the thread spacing so the, the pitch between the thread holes is usually five millimeters, but it does vary from project to project. So you can pull it nice and tight. So you, something else to kind of think about is we're now going to burn the thread. We're going to cut it and we're going to burn it to finish it off. So this has got face leather, so it's the top. It's got full grain leather on the top and you've got the suede on the inside and the same on this side. So here it doesn't matter which side you do it. We're going to leave one on each side. But if you're making a bag, if you're making a bag, uh, you might want to find a way to hide the stitches inside the bag so that you don't burn on the outside. And you can see here we cut a roughly about a three millimeter bit of thread. You take a lighter and you, you hold it over and you burn that until it burns in. And then you can literally just rub it in the line of the thread. And you see I'll do the other side. So you burn it, you pull in the line of the thread. And that's saddle stitching. It is very strong, you can cut every second one, it doesn't come loose because the wax uh, on the thread binds with the leather, it pretty much becomes a permanent permanent thing and it, it lasts kind of forever. So that is saddle stitching, uh, if you have any questions you can uh, WhatsApp me, you can uh, email me, our details are below. Thank you.